hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so uh, today we're gonna see the stability of a dam under uh, rapid drawdown of the water but before i start if you're into civil engineering and you love learning this is the right channel for you subscribe to stay tuned uh, on every video that i upload so today we're gonna talk about the stability of a earth dam under rapid drawdown so before I start, what is the rapid drawdown? When we have a, a high level in a dam, let's say here the dam is 30 meters and the water level is 25, the high water level. So we ha when we have a sudden drop down in the water level from 25 to 5 meter in let's say a day or five days, uh, there will still be poor pressure in the earth dam. So this poor pressure may uh, jeopardize the stability of the dam. So this is why we're going to make a uh, stability analysis in Plexus 2D. I've already made the video on this topic in Plexus 3D, so you can check them in the Plexus 3D playlist. So to analyze such situation, we use a coupled flow deformation. This is called a coupled analysis. Uh, it's uh, consists of flow and deformation analysis. It's time dependent with the pore pressure. So this is the input here. Uh, so this tutorial is not for beginner beginners. If you're a beginner, you can start by the rest of the videos that I uploaded on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm not gonna draw uh, this, uh, the model. I have it already drawn here. So let's continue. This is the input. This is the stratigraphy. And these are the material, the core of the dam, the subsoil, and the fill. So here there's a core which consists of clay to reduce the water flow from this level here to the level here. And this is the fill here for the stability only. So it's easy to draw a dam. First of all, we made the stratigraphy using a borehole. So... Uh, here we can see the borehole, the subsoil from 0 to minus 30. And then this is the structure. We've drawn three polygons here, here, and here. Then we generated the mesh. We've created two water levels. So there's the global water level, which is the high water in the dam, 25, and it goes down to minus 10. And there's the low level, which is from plus 5. So I've been asked a lot about how to draw the water level. Uh, should you do them like this from here to here, then get down to minus 10 and then go? So no, it's not uh, this method. It's not uh, the way to draw them. So what's the way to draw the water level? So we know that here it's minus 10. It's given to us in this PDF. And here is plus 25. So when the water encounters the dam here it auto automatically starts to drop in this shape to get to the final water level here so if the water level here was zero the water level should have been like this from here to here so that's how we draw the water level so now we're in the last phase which is the stage construction so let's see here the phases of the construction there's a long-term situation with water level okay the water drops this is the initial phase we should generate the gravity load I've already said why we should use in this type of calculation the gravity load uh, for the initial one and not the k0 procedure and we should use steady state groundwater so in this way we generated the pore pressure that's from the water here and from the dam. Then we do a fully coupled flow deformation analysis and we choose the time interval into five days here. So this is the second one. Here's the ground flow boundaries. I advise you to read the PDF carefully before drawing. And this is the rapid drawdown. 
we uh, put five days here and then we added a uh, head function in table sheet so uh, then there's the phase five which is a safety analysis then there's the slow drawdown which is in the interval of 50 days so the difference between this one and this one it's this one is a rapid drawdown in five days and this one is in the interval of 50 days here is the low level so uh, the water is at minus uh, is at plus five and uh, there's no uh, drawdown analysis there's the safety analysis and the last one is the safety analysis for the high reservoir so uh, let's see uh, so before i continue we're gonna see the uh, the, f the head function here so how we can we make a head function we can go to att attributes flow function edit and create a function here there's a rapid and a slow one we've already created them from 50 to minus 20 uh, fifth and five days to minus 20 the head here we're talking about the head so after we create this level you go to here water level and we can uh, use as global water level it will uh, be easier to use so let's go and see the results here we can see the total displacement this is the high reservoir we can see a total displacement this is the after drawdown analysis we can see how the dam gets down here because there's water in this area here of the dam here it's mainly dry we can see the difference so it's almost uh, the double of the displacement This is the slow, uh, slow drawdown. We can see that it's also has an effect on the dam. Then we can generate a curve. Now it shows here. Okay, time. And here we're gonna. I'm gonna only check what they've done in the PDF. So here you can see the curve generated from the Plexus uh, curve manager. And uh, this is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.